I'm Michael Brisbane, PJ Professional and Director of Instruction at Azalea City Golf Course in Mobile, Alabama. Today I want to show you a very simple drill that will help you learn to control the length of your putting stroke. Why is the length of our putting stroke important? Well, the length of our putting stroke controls the distance that our ball rolls. Let me talk about a few of the mistakes that I see my golfers, my students, many of the golfers I play with make. They either have a stroke that doesn't match the putt they are trying to hit. For example, they might be trying to hit a five footer, but have a stroke that's much too big, or their stroke is too short or too small for the distance they are trying to go. And lastly, the thing that I see the most is that they have an unbalanced putting stroke. Unbalanced meaning their backswing might be too long, forward swing too short, or backswing very short, forward swing very long. It's very important that we learn to get a very balanced putting stroke, that the backswing and the forward swing match. If we're going to error, we can error on letting the forward swing be a little bit longer. I tend to let mine be a little bit longer so that we want a little bit of acceleration. But there's got to be some sort of balance in the stroke, and there's got to be rhythm in the stroke. So this little drill, very simple, is going to show you how to do that. This drill can be done here at the golf course, or it can be done at home, and I'm going to show you both ways. Okay, let me show you what I've got here. I've got a very simple wooden yardstick. Um, this video is good enough. You can read where I got it. I'm not endorsing this store, but the reason I have these is if you go into their paint department, these little yardsticks are 68 cents. Um, I'll typically go through you know two dozen of these things a year and what I've done is I've just taken simple markers and I've created you know a little pattern here on the 18 inch mark I've put a black circle that's where I'll put my golf ball I've gone six inches <clears throat> either direction and I've put a blue line and I've gone six inches farther than that and put a red line now the reason I like these little rule yardsticks is that they're double sided so on the other side, I've gone in four inch increments, four inches, four inches, four inches. I could have gone one more out here to another four inches. So this gives me some versatility that my putting stroke isn't going in six inch increments. I can do four inch, I can do six inches, however I want to do it. <clears throat> Let's use the six inch side for right now. I'm on the green. I've got it aimed at a hole. And all I want to do is I want to learn to take my putter back to the blue and then go forward to the blue. Okay, let's do it without a ball. And if I go a little past my forward line, that's okay. Now, I don't want to go way out here on this putt, but back to the blue, forward to the blue, back to the blue, forward to the blue. Now, let's do that with a ball. the blue forward to the blue great I hope you heard that one go in now let's say I was had backed up and I'm making a longer putt okay I would go back to the red forward to the red back to the red forward to the red swing the putter with good rhythm Okay, let's do one more. Back to the red, forward to the red. With good rhythm. Let me take you inside and show you how we can work on this at home as well. Okay, as you can see, I've moved indoors and actually made an outfit change. Uh, it's a different day. I want to show you how to practice uh, your putting stroke at home. I am a big, big fan of my students, myself, and just golfers in general, working on their mechanics and their fundamentals at home. So, very important, and it's easy to do. I mean, you can stand up and 
work for 10 minutes and it becomes you know very valuable you can work for 15 minutes you can go sit down do something else come back later do another 15 minutes it's not about the amount of time it's just about the fact that when you're at home you do good quality work and when you're at home you really really want to focus on those like i said the fundamentals the fine points make sure that your alignment is correct your your club face and the length of this putting stroke so let me show you what we're going to look at here okay so just like we were on the putting green okay you've seen how to use this with the ball but let me show you what we're looking at here when we're at home I don't have a ball. That's the first thing you're going to notice. I don't really necessarily have to have a golf ball to practice my putting stroke. Like I said, I want to focus on the fundamentals here. So first thing I want to look at, I want to look that my feet are parallel to the yardstick. Okay. When I set my putter down, I want to make sure that my putter face here is perpendicular to the yardstick. That would mean that my putter face is nice and square. Okay, I want my ball position between middle and my left heel somewhere. Ball position with putting becomes a little, um, you know, a personal thing. You should get your instructor at home to, you know, really work on that ball position for you. But anyway, again, feet perpendicular, uh, parallel, club face perpendicular, and then work on the length of your stroke. There was blue to blue, red to red. Black to black. Now, as my stroke gets a little bit longer, the curve or the arc in the stroke will get a little bit bigger. So in this little one, it's basically almost just feels like straight back, straight through little arc on the red one arc will get bigger on the black one and that arc gets bigger just because of the, the, the swing plane now if you remember I have this is double sided so I was just working on the four inch stroke so now let me turn it over and let me work a little on the six inch stroke blue to blue blue to blue red to red red to red get in the habit of working on your putting stroke at home if you'll do this you will really really hone a very very fine uh, putting stroke let's do a little recap of what we just did okay we were working on controlling the length of our putting stroke controlling the length of your putting strokes helps you control the distance that your ball rolls okay so control the length of your stroke you control the distance of your putt Controlling the distance of our putt is going to make us make more putts on the golf course, lowering our score. We used a simple yardstick, one side six inch increments drawn on there, the other side four inch increments, okay? Gives me a lot of versatility. This drill can be done just as easily on the golf course as you saw in the videos, or it can be done at home. I'm a big fan of doing drills at home. Just throw it on the carpet, hit you some putts. The more you practice this, the better you'll putt. The more putts you make, the lower you shoot. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it makes you shoot lower scores. Um, if you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, and take a look at some of the other websites that I have that came across the screen. Good luck with your golf. Ball.